So this is fine the way it is, especially if it's mainly for shading and tying up light stuff. But if I want to get it more stable, you see, it can move, which is fine. The wind blows, they don't go anywhere. But I'm going to change this up just a little bit for stability in case you wanted to have it more stable and in case I did too. So I decided to string a little piece of tool, maybe about four inches wide across the whole thing along the top of these hoops. That will keep it from kind of swaying. It doesn't really matter. It was more of an experiment than anything else to see if it would work. So I clipped it onto the first one then I went around and I decided to clip it onto all the other ones there, which were another three, which was really easy. You know how I make those clips out of the half inch irrigation tubing, the same tubing you see there. Here is the half inch irrigation tubing. Now what you're gonna do is cut some pieces off and this way you'll have them ready to go. And then it's nothing with nothing. You're gonna take your scissors and you're going to slice up the middle. You're going to split the tube, that's all. It's a split tube. See how it opens? Now guess what you can do with this? It's a clip. So if you're going to use tool or some sort of fabric to cover your plants with, you're going to put that over the irrigation tubing that is already set up for your netting. And now you're just going to snap it on. You can have as many or as few as you want, but look at that. It holds tight. It's perfect. And you can't ask for anything better. You just cut a piece, you split it, and it becomes a clip. You can clip on tool, fabric, plastic, pretty much anything you want as long as it's thin because it will just clip right onto that black irrigation tubing and it will hold everything nice and straight. So let's see what I think about it after it was all done. And I wanna see what you think about it. Hot sunny day and the irrigation tubing is doing exactly what I want. If you look, you see shade on some of these plants. The sun is starting to drop a little bit in the sky, but you'll see that all the irrigation tubing is doing what it's supposed to do. It is creating shade. See the tubing there? So the sun, though it may be really warm, is still going across the leaves. So as soon as the leaf gets really hot, instead of burning, it's just slowly going across and creating shade. This is really helping all the plants in here. And I can add as many irrigation tubings as I want there if I'm using them for shade. Keep that in mind. They stand up really good in the hot sun. They're easy to put up and they literally cost pennies. They have worked so good all over the garden. I'm placing them everywhere. Now, if you wanted to keep them stable for whatever reason, you're gonna trellis on them. There's two different ways of doing it. Now, here is a set of three. And what I did here was I had used the soldering iron, made a hole right in the middle all the way through and slid in a tomato stake. Just slid it right in. It goes in with no force really at all. And look how nice and stable it is. See that? The whole thing will move together, but you will need a soldering iron. You could probably use a drill, but I'd be afraid you may break the hose, but you could try. See if the tubing will take a drill. But it works fantastic, it's nice and stable, and then you can clip things on in various ways. You can use metal clips, you can get those, a big package, for a dollar at the dollar store, or you can make the clips that I've showed you out of here by simply taking a piece of irrigation tubing that literally costs pennies, slicing it in half, and then it will hold on anything. Here it's holding on a shower curtain all month to protect my cucumber because I don't want my cucumbers to get, well, wind chilled because we have the canyon here, as you can see over here, I'll show you. See that, there's the canyon and the canyon has a breeze that blows all the way across and it blows cold air at night, which is not good for peppers or cucumbers. Not until we get into summer and it's quite warmer at night, but our nights are still 50. So the wind chill will be even a little bit cooler. So now the, tom um, the tomatoes are doing good, as you can see. This is the sun golds, but as you can see, the cucumbers have really taken off and there's quite a few cucumbers on there. So you could do it either way. The plastic clip, and it's holding this. I just can't believe a dollar sh shower curtain from Dollar Tree has lasted for over a month. No tears, no nothing, and it's fantastic. I put some clips on here, but I did find out that I could use the clips from the irrigation tubing on the chair and the tote as well. So that's what's going on here. Now there is another way 
You can leave them floppy. This isn't bothering me. See, see this shade? Look at the pitcher. The pitcher is my, like a two system. I compost in there, so it's gonna feed all the plants. I just keep putting leaves in there and earthworms go in there. It's like a mini worm farm is what it is. Now, see how the shade goes? This is what's going on with the plants. Look at that blue lid as if it is a leaf. Now, as it's getting really hot, it starts to move as the sun moves. See how it moves? And if you've got four of them, eight of them, 10 of them, they'll get enough sun all day. The leaf will gather up all that sun it needs. And in the meantime, you won't be burning your plants. And look, it's quite windy now. And let me tell you, we had a real windstorm where we had to take down our gazebos that were around here, everything was blowing and not one irrigation tubing came loose. I can't say much on the plastic, but I will say it didn't come loose. So I can't swear if this will stay on because it does blow, but because it's flexible, as you can see, boy, we really are blowing right now. It's flexible, so it all moves. It's not like it's hitting a wall and it's pushing it over. And the other thing with the tubing, like I said, you could put as many as you want of these up, as the wind hits this, it's round. So the wind is going to disperse and go around and keep going. If it's flat, then what it does is it's hitting a wall and it can push it. But there's no pushing. The tubes don't move. So you can see even with the wind, the tubes aren't moving at all. Just the plastic that's there. So for wind, so many have asked me, yes, it's perfect for wind. Now, here's another job you could do really quick if you wanted. So I showed you the three there with the stake, and I could have had five, ten, it wouldn't matter. The stake would have gone through each one. Here I've got four. I'm probably going to put more up. This is going to be a trellis. But just to show you, it wasn't important to me. I took some tool, a little piece of tool, long and skinny, kind of like a ribbon, and I clipped it on. See? I brought it, actually, I went back and forth. I had so much. I took a strip off of the 54 inches and I brought it back. But see how narrow it is? And I tacked it on. Now, if, if, let's see if you can see this. See how it moves? In the wind, it's all going to move, but it's going to be a little bit separated. So now I can trellis up my tomatoes. There's no soldering iron like you need there on this, nothing. You can use fabric. You could use tool, you could use a wide ribbon. If it's a nylon ribbon, that's not gonna break down so fast. And look at that. So now I've got the even spaces. I know it's hard to see. And now I can trellis my tomatoes up in the fashion in which I wanna do it. And I didn't have to bring out my soldering iron. And I can quickly take it down, change it up at any time I want. Or I could just add some more tubing if I wanted some more shade. But I think it's getting plenty of shade right now with the four. So I hope I'm giving you ideas, especially if you're in a hot, sunny area, that keep in mind that the irrigation tubing is fantastic in the garden. It's not even hot to touch, but it's the best time to cut it. When you have it in the sunlight like this, it's a little softer to cut. If it's really cold outside, you're 40 degrees, it's harder to cut. But they're so easy to cut and use. They have been working fantastic. You cut them to the size that you want. And if you're just starting or you have a small garden, go get a roll, a 100-foot roll or a 50-foot roll. They're like 10 bucks. And so for 10 bucks, you've got a whole lot of irrigation tubing, half inch, that you can work with and see if you like it. Because I'm telling you, as you work with it and continue to put it up, I think you're going to end up going back like I did, and I bought a 500-foot roll. That was a bit much, but you know what? I'm using it everywhere. I even use it for all kinds of stuff other than the garden now. So it has been amazing. You make solar fountains with it too, but that's another story. But I just love it because you can use it for your steaks. You can make, look at this, a tomato ring. You know how much these things cost? Now, this one was done with masking tape or painter's tape. It looks a little sloppy, but it does the job. This one was not. This one, I did have to make holes. I've got the whole video on that. And the best thing is, I can make that as tall as I want. So as it gets bigger, I can attach more to it. With, with the irrigation tubing, I can put three more stakes here. What do I have here? Oh, I only have two. Two more stakes there and continue to ring up my tomato if I want. You can crisscross them and slide them on. There are so many things you can do with irrigation tubing. You've got good branches around or bamboo. You can even use it on that too. So go back and watch all the videos on there because today this was just to come out and do a quick job 
just throw that up there and tie up my tomatoes and it worked fantastic. No soldering iron, no nothing. And I had it done in seconds. And again, you want to cover it from wind, use plastic, use garden flags, use anything your heart desires. If you want to cover it from sun, use something darker. You can snap on anything, not just plastic. You can put anything you want to give more shade if you need more shade. But I think you're going to find that the irrigation tubing is really going to do the trick for you. And you may not even have to do much of anything else. But a couple little garden flags always bring such color to the garden. So with that, I hope I gave you some little tricks and tips today. Don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Isn't this pretty? It's taken, what, a, a month to grow? And I've got zucchini everywhere, tomatoes everywhere. I can't wait. I'll have sun goals at any time. Isn't this cool? Look at these tomatoes. Look, look, look. I'm so excited. I can't wait till they start turning red. And this one has turned into such a massive plant. All I can say on this is wow.